Hey guys, Stake here for Games Defined and this video is going to be on path constraints. This is simply uh, constraining a object, an object, to only move along a path, uh, in this case a spline. So all we have to do is click the object, come up to animation, constraints, path constraint and you'll see this thing connected to your object. Just click spline you want it to follow and it instantly connects you can move it like this and it will only move along the path so move it up like that and all the way around or you can use this path options so this moves it around as well let's just move that back to zero now say we're using this for a tank tread we want this point uh, to point inside the track so to do this click follow firstly I'll show you what it does it follows the line and keeps the point you know pointing to the line and then what we can do is we can uh, change the orientation using the axis buttons down here options click these to get these options you can flip it as well so anything you want sometimes you have to uh, you do have to manually rotate it like that and then as you move it along this happens so in a tank this is not what happens every time it goes round it's always pointing inwards so you can allow upside down and that allows it to stay pointed down like that simple and you can hold shift and drag a copy out say 40 of them and as you get to a certain point you'll need to space them out depending on how well you copied the first one along so just like that that's uh, the options for this kind of spline say you, you, you've got a ship and you want it to fly along a certain path we'll just use this example constraints path constraint uh, click that click follow and you know it does the same thing great but what you want it to do is you want it to bank so as it com comes around this part it rotates this way a little bit and all you have to do is click bank and then it rotates itself a little bit but we don't want it to do it that much we want it to bank a little bit so if you do it to about 0 0.2 and then see the difference say there we want it a little bit less so it takes a little bit just like that uh, that's that's pretty much the main options for path constraint uh, most of the basic stuff you'll want to do uh, will only really need these options. Uh, in later videos I'll be doing position constraint, link constraint, all the constraints really but today was just based on path constraint so I hope you learned something good and I'll see you next week for another video. Thanks for watching.